Hello to all of you, welcome to the Fixed Focus program. Today we want to do another experiment with this solar dish. I am doing this experiment for the first time in your presence, I hope the experiment will be successful. What do you think is inside this bottle? Maybe some of you guessed right. Yes, this is almost 3 liters of used motor oil. Now we want to see if we can purify this used motor oil with a simple method or not. So let's do this test together. I have a stainless steel tank that has a stand for it to be placed at the focal point of the solar dish. A copper pipe enters the tank from the bottom and rises up to the edge of the tank door. This pipe allows steam to escape. I pour used motor oil into the tank. and occupies almost a third of the tank. Now I will put the lid on it which includes a fireproof rubber. And now I place it at the focal point of the solar dish and connect the steam outlet pipe to the bottom pipe. Now you can see that the tank is located at the focal point of the solar dish. And its communication pipe goes here and from here it goes to a spiral cooler. The cooling fan motor is on and you can see the spiral tubes. This pipe is connected to the suction side of the refrigerator pump and the other side of the pump is connected to an empty soft drink bottle. There is also a small hole on the lid that will release excess pressure. Now I turn on the refrigerator motor pump. Air is forced out of the tiny hole. I hope that this pump can create a good vacuum. You can see that the tank is in the light focus of the solar dish from all sides. 10 minutes have passed now and there is no sign of oil and the connecting pipes are still cool. Now I measure the temperature of the tank and you can see that the temperature of the tank is approximately 138 degrees Celsius. Now I measure the temperature again after 20 minutes and you can see that it is 210 degrees Celsius. After 20 minutes, the result of the work was only water vapor inside the bottle, that is, the water in the oil has evaporated. And still the communication pipes are cold. Now half an hour has passed and since the temperature of the tank has risen, I have placed a pan of water under the outlet pipe so that if something happens, this water will prevent excessive heat transfer to the rubber pipes. Nothing has happened yet, but the smell of hot oil has permeated the environment. Now 45 minutes have passed since the start of work and the temperature of the oil tank has reached 260 degrees Celsius. The smell of oil has filled the air although we are working in the open space. I am also taking the temperature of the refrigerator pump motor that has been working during this time. Its temperature is 69 degrees Celsius. It's been an hour and a half since we started working and we haven't got any results. There are two possible reasons for this failure, one is the weak engine vacuum and the other is that air may have escaped from the sides of the tank door. 
You also express your opinion of course, centrifuge and filter methods are not relevant here. Currently, in this video, this experiment has failed and not all experiments are supposed to be successful. If we come up with a better method in the future and maybe with your help, we will try it again. I hope this is also an experience. Bye until the next program. Most videos on Fixed Focus channel have their own innovation and you won't regret watching them, thank you for subscribing and liking.